weather coverage you can count on with Chief Meteorologist Tanner Knust and the Way 31 Storm Tracker Early Warning Radar Network. Well, sure is great to see some sunshine out there after several days of wet and cloudy skies. Here's our Way 31 Skycam Network brought to you by Thompson Roofing and Construction showing nothing but blue out there as our sun is about to set here on this Friday. Current temperature is on the chilly side though. That sun has not helped us out too much today. Uh, currently 39 in Coleman, 45 in Decatur, 42 in Huntsville and 41 in Scottsboro. If you're heading to the Havoc hockey game later on tonight, might feel colder outside than inside the arena, but nonetheless, you should be in good shape with travel conditions uh, staying dry throughout the night tonight. Cold temperatures in the forecast for your Friday night. 25 in Gunnersville, 23 in Fort Payne, down to 23 in Decatur, over to Athens as well. It's not out of the question. We see some teens in southern middle Tennessee late tonight and early on Saturday, but sunshine will warm us up quickly tomorrow morning. We're back to 40 degrees by 10 o'clock in the morning. By the afternoon, we're back into the 50s for the first time in a few days. Forecast high in Mentone, 50 degrees, 53 in Stevenson, uh, 49 in Skyline. In the Rocket City, a high of around 54. We'll top out at 53 in Hazel Green. Might get to 56 in Decatur, 53 in Russellville, and 54, your forecast high to kick off the weekend in Cherokee. Wait, through, uh, the uh, satellite and radar picture across the region, very quiet, which is a big change from what we've seen basically this entire week. That rain and all that wintry precip, it's clearing off to the east. East Coast. So here on your Way 31 Storm Tracker Early Warning Radar Network, we are rain free. We're going to stay that way for probably the next four days. It's going to be a quiet stretch and a well deserved one at that. So look ahead to your weekend here on our future radar. Shows dry conditions all Saturday. We'll start with sun and then gradual increase in the cloud cover expected on Saturday afternoon. And it will stick around Saturday night through the first half of the day Sunday. I do anticipate some sunshine by Sunday afternoon and it will be warmer on Sunday with highs close to 60. All right, let's talk about what could be coming our way next week. The model's still in disagreement on when we'll see rain, but it's very likely we will get rain either next Wednesday or next Thursday. This is the European model. It's a little bit quicker, so it's showing rain chances Tuesday night through Wednesday, maybe lingering into Wednesday night of next week. And this one's the stronger system that would potentially bring us thunderstorms. A different model, the GFS model, is a little bit weaker and slower to arrive, so it may not bring us rain until Wednesday night, lingering into Thursday. Both models do bring us rain, but it's just a matter of the timing that we still have some uncertainty. So make sure to stay tuned to Way 31 for the latest on when rain will eventually return to North Alabama. It probably won't stick around quite as long as what we saw this week earlier earlier, but uh, eventually some wet weather is back in the forecast. Here's the good news. When it does rain, it's still going to be quite a bit warmer than the, all the rain we had this past week. High temperatures are going to be in the 60s most of next week. That's most likely to be the case from Monday through next Thursday. Colder air might return late next week, dropping us down to at least the 50s, but uh, the 40s and the 30s we've seen the past several days, including today, that is likely a thing of the past for at least the next